All right, welcome to another episode of Selling Hobson by the Pound. And this is this week's offering on the Music 24. And we're deep into this amazing collection of uh, King Record Company Japanese pressings of mostly DECA titles. And here's an example. Now you'll remember if you've seen any of the other uh, episodes on this topic that there were the earlier um, mostly from the 70s, uh, regular weight pressings, all pressed at JVC is my understanding. And these are phenomenal pressings, by the way. Later on, when they went to the King Super Analog discs, those were 180 gram, but here we have just uh, some regular weights to start with. But again, don't let there be no mistake, these are really amazing. So here is a uh, horse sign conducting Mahler, a uh, number of different pieces. Uh, this is, was originally on the London label. Uh, so beautiful copy of that sealed uh, with the original OBI strip. Here's Bruckner number no. five with Knapper's Bush and the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. Again, um, and this, with this 1500 series, uh, again, regular weight, but just beautiful production on this stuff. <clears throat> Here is um, Beethoven Violin Sonata Number no. 9 with the Kreutzer, sorry, the Kreutzer, and that's with Itzhak Perlman playing violin and Vladimir Ashkenazi. Uh, this is a famous performance put out on London Records, and uh, so there we go. <clears throat> Another in this 1500 series, uh, Stokowski doing uh, Berlioz Symphony Fantastique. Uh, let's see, with the new Philharmonia Orchestra. Remember, Stokowski did a lot of these. These are on the, is on that Phase 4 label that uh, London had. A nice picture of Stokowski on the back. Uh, sealed. And Beethoven Ninth um, with... Um, who's, oh, Stokowski. Yeah, and the London Symphony Orchestra and Chorus. Um, another sealed copy. Now we get into a number of the um, 180 gram King Super Analogs, if you will. Here's uh, uh, Neville Mariner in the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields doing uh, various uh, Vaughn Williams pieces. Um, Fantasia on the theme of Thomas Tallis. Famous performance in Fantasia on green sleeves um, and so on. So very nice copy. Sealed. Uh, Brahms clarinet quintet in B in Wagner Adagio. Um, this is with Alfred Boskowski uh, playing clarinet, actually, and um, the members of the Vienna Octet playing the rest of the pieces. Uh, Saint-Saëns Symphony Number no. 3. This is a famous performance with Ansem A and the Swiss Romand, sealed. Um, we got Faya, the three-cornered hat, Ansemé, and the Swiss Ramond. Again, this is an absolute uh, top, top recording uh, on either a London Blueback or on the original Decca. Fantastic. Uh, Scheherazade, of course, famous performance, Ansemé and the Swiss Ramond. This is a big Ansemé week, it looks like. And then we've got Mozart, uh, <clears throat> Serenade Number no. 7 called the Hafner, uh, and that's the Vienna Mozart Ensemble with Willy Boskowski um, and Alfred Starr, solo on violin. So there you go. Sealed. Bruckner number three uh, in D, and uh, this with Carl Bohm and the Vienna Philharmonic. Sealed. All of these are very well known and amazing DECA recordings originally that uh, King Record Company licensed. Here we've got uh, Muzoski Pictures at an Exhibition, another Ansemé Swiss Romand recording, sealed. <clears throat> Here we've got uh, Mozart Symphony 41, 40 and 41, uh, uh, Herbert von Carrion, Vienna Philharmonic, which of course was his orchestra. Uh, classic pieces on originally recorded by Decca. Brahms Symphony Number no. One, Cortez uh, conducting the Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, original copies of this on Decca are 
hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, here we've got a, the uh, Baroque music concert, uh, Stuttgart Chamber Orchestra. you got pieces by Pachelbel, the Canon, uh, uh, Albinoni, uh, Adagio, um, a great number of pieces. This is a great collection of things. Sealed. Dvorak 8 uh, with Cortez and the LSO. Famous performance. Um, sealed. <clears throat> Amazing that these, I've had so many of these things that are still, still sealed. Um, <clears throat> what the devil is this? This is, uh, let's see if I can figure out what the devil this is. Well, there's a lot of Japanese writing on the back. I just want you to know. And I don't think, I'm sorry to say this. Well, it's, I can tell you that it's Montour and the LSO. I just don't know. Um, I wonder if it's Beethoven. He did the entire Beethoven cycle. Anyway, um, here you go. It's sealed. You can look online. Tchaikovsky VI, The Pathétique, John, Jean Martinon in the Vienna Philharmonic. I love the way Martinon conducts, and um, this is a famous recording with the Vienna Phil. Um, here we've got Vienna Holiday, this with Hans Knappersbusch in the Vienna Phil, um, doing a, what's called a Vienna Holiday. So it's a lot of Johann Strauss pieces, um, and... Um, yeah, actually, they're all Johann Streis pieces. So, very lively waltz polka type music. Um, there you go. Here is, this is a, an EMI. <clears throat> this is second label, big dog pressing of mono version, mono version of Haydn 95 and 96, beautifully played by the RPO, directed by Sir Thomas Beecham. Sound is spectacular and pressing is very quiet. This is a, an excellent copy. ALP 1625. So there you go. And then we've got Mike Aldridge, Blues and the Bluegrass, a sealed copy of that on Alligator. Uh, I highly recommend this. I really love this record. Alligator had a lot of great recordings, a lot of blues-oriented uh, recordings. So there you go. That's the offering this week. Good luck.